All right, boys, quick backstory before we get into today's trade. So recently, I haven't really been posting or trading. Last trade I took was around five, 10 days ago. I haven't been trading recently, mainly because of market conditions or just missed entries. But yeah, recently, I haven't been seeing what I really like to see. But hopefully at the end of quarter one or going into February, we're going to see a lot more better trades. But yeah, today was one of the worst days I've ever had trading like throughout my whole life. But yeah, man, let's get into the video. All right, boys. So for today's trade, this was a bit of a different one. I used a strategy that I never really use. I'm not, I'm not blaming this for my loss. Obviously, it was 100% my fault for taking this trade and losing this trade. But this is where I started to look for these new confluences like the breaker block and just looking for this type of setup. So from the video I learned, it said price wants to go into a high time frame fair value gap or draw on liquidity. And then you want to see it come down, create a high, break past the slow and then retrace. So if we get deeper into the confluences, we obviously have the one hour fair value gap, which is a draw on liquidity. We clearly have an internal sweep right here. So you want to see internal. And then after you see internal, you want to see it break past the most recent low, giving us a breaker structure slash market structure shift. So after that happens for the ICT silver bullet strategy, which I learned, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I don't study ICT, I've only ever watched a few of his videos, but what I've noticed is like, the silver bullet and the market maker model and all that, all that shit is like, well I, I, I see it as the same setup basically just renamed, but the strategy I learned today was, the low that it breaks plus becomes something, turns into something called a breaker block, so you want to wait for price to retrace into here, and then there also should be a fair value gap lining up. So as long as it taps into the breaker block, lining up for a fair value gap, after it's taken out a draw on liquidity, a higher time frame draw on liquidity, like a fair value gap, and internally swept itself pre-break to the downside, then that is a valid setup for what we want to see today. But <laughs> this was my worst trading day ever using these concepts. Maybe I didn't do it right, maybe I missed a few things. But yeah, that's just a brief explanation on what confluences I was using today and some reasoning for the trades that I was taking. All right, let's get into what we're looking for today. So on the daily, we got like this key level right up here. This is more like a target slash area I want to see it play off. So I am bullish for the day because I want to see it go higher. And yeah, so we got like this previous daily low right here scale into the four hour you can see that we are inside of this massive four hour fit value gap but we are breaking structure to the upside right here off this high and we just broke structure once again off this high so higher time frame i'm saying we want to go longs i want to target this is my main my main target will be this big one hour fair value gap. I'm trying to look for longs into here. On the one hour, I would also say we're bullish because after we took out this previous daily low from ages ago, we took internally swept ourselves and then continued higher as well as we're holding a bullish one hour fair value gap right here. As you can see, one hour fit value gap. Clearly holding that. And we did just break structure to the upside right here. Realistically, what I do want to see is I want to see it close above this red line, showing that it's not a fake breaker structure. And that like we've had two bullish consecutive candles after we broke structure. So yeah, we're gonna be looking to long. As well as with this one hour break, we'll just put it over here so it looks cleaner. As well as that. <clears throat> so after the one hour break, we created this 15 minute demand right here. I think because there's like a fair value gap above it. We also are holding this 15 minute fair value gap quite nicely. So yeah, we are looking to long. What I do want to see though, is a breaker structure to the upside. Because then 
all the all the time frames will be on my side because we did break to the downside and we currently are holding this inverse i mean this bearish five minute so we're going to want to see it close above here or at least break structure otherwise we're not really looking to trade i'm not looking to short because all the other fundamentals are saying bullish and i do think they want to fill these fair value gaps before they go lower i know the trend is obviously like bearish like making lower lows lower highs by expecting to make a lower high inside of here before i send it lower as well as it lines up with our optimal trading entry so yeah at least we should hit this one hour fair value gap Which depends if we can suss out an entry or not i don't know i don't really see any quarterly theory lining up I guess you might be able to say that this is manipulation of this high. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Quality theory is not really lining up. You're, you're either calling this distribution, but this doesn't have, this isn't manipulation. It doesn't manipulate any lows or anything. At most, you could say it's the fair value gap, which I have noticed recently. So this should either, the, we should be in reversal right now. Or this is manipulation of the highs and it's going to go to the downside. I don't know. Bro, realistically, I'm actually really keen on GU because this is just this is just accumulation. I just want to see it manipulate either the lows or the highs. And then, so if it manipulates the highs, it goes up, take out this buy side. I'm shorting down to the one hour. And if it manipulates the lows, then I'm looking to long up to that buy side. So either way, GU is looking good for power of three setup i need to take a shit i could enter on the retest of this inverse by fair value gap so if it comes back down into here stop loss this low tp the one hour fair value gap that could be decent i think we are going to be pretty bullish yo it looks like it's going pretty high if you can get a retest i'd be keen to enter so I come down here, back into this inverse five, and that's where our entry is gonna be. Realistically, what I think is happening, it's, it just took our buy side. I expect it now to take our sell side, and then we can look for a long to the upside, because I still think it wants to target the higher draws on liquidity, like up there, and this high, before it goes down to the one hour. I doubt it's gonna go down to the one hour just from that. On GJ, this is where the, the strategy is kind of valid because this, even though we are kind of bullish, the strategy said we want to look for a high time frame like liquidity, so the fair value gap, and then we want to look for an internal sweep. So I'll just draw it out. Go into the fair value gap, create a low, internally sweep, break past the low, and then something called a breaker block, which is the last low we get that, that gets displaced past. And you also want to look for a fair value gap, and then we can short from there all the way down to the lows of Asian, if it goes up into the one hour fair value gap. And yeah, that's what I wanna look for for GJ. And same thing on Euro JPY, bro. Uh, it's about to tap into our first take profit, which is the one hour fair value gap. We can look for it to reverse from there. The only thing that's not really like matching with our trade is all the time frames are not lining up. Like, <laughs> it's the one bad thing, bro. Everything's saying bullish. But at the same time, if we look at it like this, the green the green area is the one hour value gap. That yellow area was that key level that we marked out from right here. As you can see, it's, it gets played off a few times. So yeah, now if we were to look at it from the one hour, we could say that the trend, the trend is obviously bearish, to be fair. But we've got an optimal trading entry right here. This whole box is the optimal trading entry. So it's literally inside of the optimal trading entry. But realistically, you want to see that high time frame fit value gap. Like the one hour play out before we start looking for shorts. Because, bro, this is bearish, but I don't even know where I target. But, yes, yeah, silver bullet. For that silver bullet entry, bro, come up, 
create a high, create a low, internally sweep, break past the low, retrace into a breaker block right here, which should match up with the fair value gap, and we're shorting to the downside. The only bad thing is the our time frames are saying bullish. I on GU we finally taken out this level of buy side. It would be better if we take out the higher one, but silver bullet thing, like level of buy side. We just want to see displacement past this low, as well as we internally swept this high as well. So we got multiple levels of liquidity being taken out. Although it's not following the trend, if we can tap into the one hour and then displace past this most recent low, like that, I'd be keen as to short on that. This is why I don't like. I don't like how we have this draw above our stop loss, this big buy side liquidity draw. So that's a tick. No trading after take profits have been hit. The sell side hasn't been hit. So that's not no trading without at least high time frame bias in our direction. So it's sort of like a power of three setup, but super choppy. You could say it's just retracing into the four hour, but realistically, I said we want to take out this high at least, or at least a draw on liquidity before we do that. Maybe this high was enough. Who the fuck knows? I think it's looking good that I didn't enter. But. Quarterly theory, I don't think that shit's even lining up, bro. They say you only want to buy above the trip and sell below it, so. I, mean, I guess you could say that this is manipulation and it might distribute to the downside. To manipulate the low, manipulated the highs, now it's going to distribute to the downside. Could be a decent shout. So we got we got that. We don't have a five minute break or a fair value gap. Nine PM is coming around. Realistically, I want to see it take out the buy side liquidity draw before I enter. Thank God I didn't enter because it looks like we're about to get stopped out. Safe. That's why you don't enter, bro. That's why you don't enter, bro. Wait till your draw is taken, and then you might have a more high probability trade. Hi, we just took out this buy side liquidity draw on GU. Realistically, I want to see it displace past this low for a trade. So we're literally looking to short on all our peers today. So we're literally looking to short on all our peers today. Hi, so we're looking to short Euro JPY. First things first. We are in a pretty fat downtrend on the daily. On the 4 hour, we're currently holding this 4 hour value gap. As you can see, we've been making low lows, low highs for a while now. Scaling into the 1 hour, we just tapped into this 1 hour for value gap. Possibly it could go a bit higher, but we'll just count that in. And as well as we have an optimal trading entry that lines up right here. That's EQ. Fucking tripping balls, bro. We have an optimal trading entry right here. I'm looking to see a displacement past this five minute low right here. I just learned a new strategy. It's like a silver bullet with like a breaker block. So it's like internal sweep right here. You want to break past this low right here. And then you want to retrace into a fair value gap and then continue lower. Breaking to the downside, we broke structure with five minutes as well. All right, boys, in the next clip coming up, you can clearly see me forcing a trade. I'm taking a trade off the two-minute time frame, not even following the trend, not a high probability trade. This is not what you want to focus on. I was forcing an entry instead of focusing on a high probability entry. So this whole range is the breaker block. And then that's the two-minute fair value gap that we can enter on. All right, we're in 1.87 on Euro JPY because it's held that fair value gap. Hi boys, before we see how this trade plays out, there is something I do really want to talk about because I think it will be beneficial to everybody who watches this. So this was the whole bias for my trade. We had a one hour fair value gap. We internally swept this high right here. I think we had a five minute break right here. This was the one minute breaker block right here. And I think the one minute fair value gap was right here, which was what I entered, entered on. So in total, we had around five confluences but four of them four out of the five were on the one minute now if you're a trader you obviously know higher time frame holds higher power so realistically today the best trade you could have taken was 
a long into the one hour in my opinion if you're looking for high probabilities you want to follow market structure you want to follow the higher time frames especially if you're a day trader as you can clearly see we're bullish on the one hour we're breaking structure we're holding these fair value gaps there aren't any bearish time frames the 15 minutes bullish the one hours bullish the four hours bullish all of those time frames have higher power over the one minute now if we look at this trade this is what i believe is actually a high probability entry instead of the trade i took yesterday i believe the trade i took yesterday was not high probability but this one is much more high probability so right now we are on the daily chart and you can clearly see we have a daily fair value gap right here as well as we have previous daily low liquidity zooming into the four hour after we took out the previous daily low you can clearly see that the four hour is breaking structure so i would say that the four hour is bullish all throughout this the one hour is breaking structure it's holding bullish fair value gaps all throughout here and before we tap into the daily fair value gap this is where you would have wanted to enter you can clearly see we, we keep breaking structure to the upside we're holding this nice one minute one hour fair value gap we're breaking structure again scaling into the 15. we can see that this one hour fair value gap gets condensed into this nice 15 minute fair value gap so you could have easily entered on that scaling even deeper now we can clearly see that the 15 minute fair value gap right here is respected on the five minute we break structure on the five minute right here we have a five minute fair value gap and that's where you want to long up onto this draw and then into that big daily fair value gap that we were talking about so then you look to long into that daily fair value gap that we were talking about on the daily chart so just to recap this trade in terms of the time frames and confluences that we were dealing with today we had a previous daily low sweep we had a daily fair value gap target we had four hour breaks we had four hour breaks we had a one hour break plus one hour fair value gap we had a 15 minute break plus a 15 minute fair value gap and then after that we had a five minute break plus a five minute fair value gap this is so much more high probability because not only are we following the trend by trading with whatever the higher time frames are, are saying if all the higher time frames are breaking structure bullish then obviously we want to take a trade with the trend which would be bullish and not only are we following the trend we have a bullish target which was the daily fair value gap and high confluence factors like the previous daily low sweep showing after we took out this low we got an instant rejection to the upside showing it was a liquidity sweep now if we look at this other trade again and we compare our confluences you would have to be a retard to take this trade opposed to four hour one hour 15 and five minute bullish confluences obviously this trade is much higher probability now if we look into this one as well we weren't even following the trend we weren't following market structure because we were looking to short what if we were to compare this one and transform it into the gu one what we were basically doing was looking to short after it came into the daily fair value gap if we had all of these bullish confluences why would we want to short after it came into our profit target for a long if you get what i'm saying so realistically you wanted to look for a long today into the one hour fair value gap instead of looking for a short after tapping into the one hour fair value gap without following the higher time frame market structure without following whatever the higher time frames are breaking structure either bullish or bearish right without seeking a high time frame fair value gap or target so yeah that's what i believe is much more important than literally just a shitty silver bullet set up on the one minute realistically you do want to look for the higher time frames high, high time frames hold higher powers and yeah follow the market structure look for high time frame targets and that's how you find high probability trades this was not a high probability trade and this is what you should not be trading in my opinion stop losses is high tp1 is this five minute fair value gap
realistically this one's probably decent this breaker block lining up with this one minute fair value gap we could sell on here stop loss this high tp start of this 15 minute fair value gap should i limit myself to one trade a day probably All right, we're in. So my stop. I fucking hate this. I boys, at this point, I wasn't even trying to make money anymore. I was just trying to revenge trade and get all my fucking bread back. As I said in the intro, I hadn't traded for ages. I tried to be super disciplined and not trade. I still only look for high probability trades, but now I was fucked off. I was emotionally unstable and I was just like, fuck this. I just want to get all of my money back ASAP. <laughs> Bro, last trade. No more after this. Three minute breaker block plus a fair value gap, which is also lining up with this 15 minute fair value gap. Targeting this 15 minute draw, this 15 minute draw, and then the big one hour fair value gap down here. Honestly, I think this could hurt. We've got accumulation. Manipulation up here of buy side liquidity, the liquidity over here, the liquidity over here. Break to the downside of five minute break, inverse fifth five minute fair value gap, come to the three minute break block. Eight pips stop loss at this high. We can go even, you can go a bit higher if you want to give it space to run. But it will say eight pips. Oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, and then. Alright boys, so uh, this is how I, uh, our final trade played out, um, something I did miss in my analysis, I forgot that um, we were shorting the economy, like I forgot to add my Fortnite V-Bucks to short the economy, so unfortunately I was liquidity today before the market literally shorted and took out the stocks in Africa, so yeah, that is the end of the video today, if you, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe.